Welcome to another episode of Elemental Discoveries, the podcast that ventures into the fascinating world of chemical elements. In today's episode, we're embarking on a journey through the captivating story of curium. Curium, symbolized as CM with an atomic number of 96, is an intriguing element with a rich history. It was first synthesized in 1944 by a group of scientists at the University of California, Berkeley, including Glenn T. Seaborg, Ralph A. James, Ralph G. Hare, and Albert Giorso. The element was named in honor of Marie and Pierre Curie, the pioneering researchers who made groundbreaking contributions to the field of radioactivity. The discovery of curium was a significant milestone in the realm of nuclear science. It marked the expansion of the periodic table and represented a breakthrough in our understanding of elements beyond uranium. Curium is a synthetic, radioactive element with unique properties, curium is a silvery white metal that tarnishes quickly when exposed to air. It is highly radioactive, with a variety of isotopes, the most stable being curium-247, CM-247. Curium emits alpha, beta, and gamma radiation, making it an invaluable tool in scientific research and various applications. Curium does not occur naturally on Earth in significant quantities. Instead, it is produced artificially through nuclear reactions, typically in nuclear reactors or particle accelerators. The most common source of curium is the irradiation of uranium-238 U-238, targets in a nuclear reactor. During this process, U-238 captures neutrons and transforms into U-239, which further undergoes beta decay to become Neptunium-239 NP-239, and then Plutonium-239 Pu-239. Subsequently, Pu-239 captures additional neutrons and transforms into curium-242, CM-242. The production of curium is a multi-step process that involves carefully controlled nuclear reactions. It starts with irradiating U-238 targets to produce Pu-239, which is then irradiated further to produce curium-242. Curium can also be produced through particle accelerators by bombarding target materials with high-energy particles. Once synthesized, curium is typically isolated and separated from other reactor products using chemical processes. Despite its limited natural occurrence, curium has found applications in various fields. Curium-242 CM-242, has been used in radioisotope thermoelectric generators RTGs, for powering spacecraft. These generators convert the heat generated by the radioactive decay of curium into electricity, providing a long-lasting power source for space missions. Curium is essential in nuclear physics and chemistry experiments. Its radioactive properties allow scientists to explore the behavior of matter at the atomic and subatomic levels. Curium is a crucial element in the synthesis of other transuranic elements, such as berkelium BK and californium CF, through nuclear reactions. While not an application for peaceful purposes, curium-242 has been used in nuclear weapons research and development due to its suitability for initiating nuclear explosions. Curium isotopes have been used in industrial radiography to inspect the integrity and thickness of materials in various industries, including construction and manufacturing. In conclusion, curium is an element with a remarkable history and an array of applications, despite its scarcity in nature. From its role in powering space missions to advancing our understanding of nuclear physics, curium continues to shape our world in various ways. As we reflect on the journey of curium, we are reminded of the incredible achievements that arise from scientific exploration and the quest to unlock the mysteries of the elements around us. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of curium, an element that bridges the gap between scientific curiosity and practical innovation. Stay curious and stay tuned for more elemental discoveries in the future. Until next time,